Marines and sailors underwent a mock amphibious landing and assault across Okinawa as part of Exercise Blue Chromite 15 from November 2nd to the 3rd. For Chromite, it's, it's a rehearsal of multiple pieces of large-scale uh, exercises and operations that the Marines would be expected to be able to accomplish, both the amphibious landing portion, the ability to integrate fires, the ability to have multiple units doing different missions at the same time, all commanded and controlled by the battalion, and then being able to not only do an initial objective but move further inland to take uh, subsequent objectives, ultimately culminating uh, in a, in a uh, battalion being able to complete its mission for the division uh, amphibious uh, movement. The amphibious landing and push into the island set the stage for the remainder of the exercise, which continues on until November 8th. Yesterday what we did was we destroyed the enemy's anti-air defenses right there on uh, Ammo Hill and Camp Schwab, and then we pushed the rest of our company forward to be able to destroy this, which is the C2 uh, node for the enemy in this area. And ultimately we're doing all of this to allow our other company, Golf Company, to destroy the chemical weapons factory that's located to our south at Combat Town. All of this together, 2-9 does so that 3rd Marine Division can continue their attack north on the, uh, on the island. From sea to land, Exercise Blue Chromite 15 pushed both Navy and Marine Corps abilities, strengthening our maritime tie. The training sense, it gets these Marines used to working with outside agencies instead of just the Marine Corps. And also it's, it's a different, you know, like we were just talking about, it's a different attack. So uh, it gets them the chance to do something like that. So maybe when they move on to their next unit, and they do something similar, there's somebody that they can be leaned on and uh, be like the person who, who knows how to do something like this because they have experience. The sheer scale of the exercise allowed the Marines and sailors to become more adept at advanced combat tactics. Well, the Germantown was built for Marines. So that's the only reason why we're here. We've been waiting for a year to get the Marine, uh, Marines on board. A uh, lot of exercises, a lot of inspections, all for the simple fact of employing getting on board and getting them off board in the most expeditious and safest manner in order for the Marine Corps to do their job. And we've been waiting. You know, bottom line is uh, teamwork makes the dream work. And I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's been a heck of a ride with the Marines that we've had uh, on board thus far. Reporting from Okinawa, Japan, I'm Corporal Wes Luckett. I'm